내체 너무 귀여워서 킹받아! 내체 너무 귀여워서 킹받아! 아, 팬사인에 떨어져서 킹받아! 팬사인에 떨어져서 킹받아! 팬사인에 떨어졌어! 킹받아! 팬사인에 떨어졌어! 킹받아! 아이돌 코리안 클래스! But the king became like trans, so... 출시가 뭐니? They made a new version called King Tukong. They made a new version called King Tukong. 안녕, 선생님 여러분! 아이돌 코리안 클래스의 토연쌤. 비쌤입니다. A lot of teenagers here in Korea use the word king to emphasize a word. So today we're going to talk about king. Some of you guys might be wondering what it means, but king is actually English. Literally means king, like the, yeah, the king. 킹받아! 킹받아! 네, 열받네 means I'm angry. Mm -hmm. So if we emphasize 열받네, it becomes 킹받네. Oh. So like, I'm really, really angry. 아, 귀여워! 아, 비용이... <웃음> 아, 귀여워! 어, 아저씨 생일 축하해요. 킹받네, 진짜. 나는 원래 토끼 하고 싶었어요. 어, <웃음> 잘 됐다. 킹받네. <웃음> 오늘 킹받네 진짜 못하네. 킹받네? 킹받네. 약간 킹받는 요소가 좀 들어간 것 같아. 아 싱글 킹, 아 레그들 시킬 걸 내가 그래서 그치 킹받지? 근데 킹받네 진짜. So Koreans use 킹받네 when they're really really mad, but also when they're like really excited. Oh yeah. Most of K-pop fans, if their bias are so lovely or so cute, we say like 킹받네. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can be a good expression. Let's talk about other words that mm -hmm. use king. There is king jung. It's king plus in jung. So in this word, in jung means like I agree. So king jung becomes I totally agree. Okay. And also there is king lang mm -hmm. It's king plus 사랑스러. 사랑스러 means like so lovely mm -hmm. like that. So king lang became. Oh, incredibly, so incredibly super. lovely. Yeah, amazingly lovely like yeah. this. Yeah. Here, this ramen, actually this ramen name was Wang Dukong. But the king was so popular and trend. Yeah. So they made a new version, King Dukong. King Dukong. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Yeah. ペンサイで取ろうとすると、金馬だ。ああ、で、チェ、どうも気を合わせ金馬だ。おお、クレディブリー、クレディブリー。どうも気を合わせ金馬だ。金馬だ。ね。ああ、で、チェ、どう。<